What is the 98% trick, you may ask? Find out in this video. That's how YouTube works. Welcome to the office. There's a strange and unusual shadow on this guitar right here. How does that shadow exist? I don't know. And I'm going to teach you today what the 98% trick is. It was actually in the full length uh, wedding photography tutorial. It was two and a half hour tutorial. If you haven't watched that, it's on my page. It's if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed by the way. Maybe click the like button as well. Uh, the two and a half hour tutorial is kind of the main thing over on my, my YouTube page. So if you head over there, um, it is kind of everything that I can teach you about actual wedding photography, uh, photography on the day. Um, the members website that I'm sure you're probably aware of if you've watched any videos on this channel is all the business content or most of the business content. There are some off camera flash videos as well as um, introverts guide to posing and a few other kind of more photography videos, but most of the members website is all about booking weddings. So if you're interested in booking more weddings, I literally have four courses called book more weddings and they're, they're all available for you right now as well as my presets. I'm really just kind of stretching this video out because if I make this video one minute long like it should be, uh, the YouTube algorithm will show it to absolutely no one and uh, no one will get to learn the 98% trick and that, that'll be sad. The 98% trick, we can't go there yet. It hasn't been enough time. The members website, if you're not yet a member, uh, it the year one rate disappears at the end of July. So July 31st, it no longer exists. So if you want to get in on that introductory rate, get in on that now because otherwise it disappears and it goes up to $40 per month. This highlight's blown out now. The sun came up. But why are here the 98% trick? It still hasn't been enough time. Here's a picture of me in Palestine. How do we get there? We drove, I guess. It's the short answer. 98% trick though. If you want to be a wedding, that's not right. Somebody was drop D playing some Deftones. If you want to be a wedding photographer, you better buy a camera. Because otherwise, you're just a guest at the wedding. Shout out to the Waterloo Region Police Force for the accompaniment on that song. But actually though, now it is time for the 98% trick. This is my snowboard. There's actually a speed pattern uh, on this so that they, that they heat the wax through infrared light and they, they give you a pattern that makes you go faster when you're in the snow. This is my, uh, my, my park snowboard. So if I'm doing flips in the snowboard park, this is the snowboard that I rode this year. Uh, this, this bear's name is Gary. Mark McMorris, I guess, got an email and they were like, what graphic do you want to put on the bottom of your board? And he responded only with this image of a bear Actually, it's the it's the the bear the bear is waving, and he responded with that, and then they had to contact the guy and license the image and uh, put it on a board. All right, for real though, coming over here into Photoshop, I'm going to load up a photo of Gary the bear, and we're just gonna chill here and we're gonna look at it for a minute. It's a great bear. But now we'll get down to business, and the 98% trick actually revealed. There's a skateboard under my desk. It's a Hello Kitty skateboard. Rather than a standing desk, I have a skateboard desk. My chair also hides my golf clubs because I have nowhere else to put them. So I just always have to sit here to hide those from you so you don't think that our house is messy. <clears throat> the 98% trick for actual real real this time. Here it is. It's wildly exciting. Photoshop. At the end of every wedding day, I process everything through Lightroom uh, and then I come over to Photoshop at the end of that process and before I load up my images of Gary the Bear, uh, I actually bring everything in to do uh, two things. So I run portraiture on everything, which is basically automated skin softening and smoothing. Um, I kind of dial that back a little bit because if you just do a default, it looks very plasticky and filtered. Um, at about half, it looks pretty reasonable and then I actually shrink the image uh, a little bit. So what the 98% trick is, is the shrinking of the image. So I'm going to load us up the 40 3D 3D3 and 
took like three minutes. I might need one of those new new Mac computers. Um, so maybe a poor example. It's their backs. You'll 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 get the 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 trick. Um, so I guess to talk maybe about quickly about the portraiture thing that I do. So I actually have an action up here, and this is the one that I built in the. Uh, in the video, the 2.5 hour tutorial. Uh, this is the one that I actually use. I think they're pretty much the same. It's called 98 plus port, not port the wine, port portraiture. And all it does is I actually recorded this. So you record this action and then you go through and I actually come down here and I go da, 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 to portraiture three. And then I wait for my computer to take many years to load. I just do default settings. I click okay. If there's faces in it, it will smooth the skin. You can see that it had a little bit of an effect because it knows that where what skin looks like, um, but because there's no faces in it, it's not going to be the best example. Sorry, the, I, I realized that this entire video is an example and uh, I, I used the wrong one, but it's for the 98%. So I come down here, edit, and I fade this down to like maybe 60%. And I run this on every single image of the entire wedding day. So while it doesn't take effect much on this image uh, it will take more effect on faces which is what you want and also when you're doing group shots it's now affecting all of the faces within that group so you're now doing skin softening on like 10 people in a frame rather than individually going in and doing it which just kind of sounds like a nightmare so make sure your light is good first off um, but this does add a little bit of extra that people are like oh i look really good in those photos must be the the professional cameras and the lenses that taylor spent money on and so after i run that i will go over here the full reveal, the 98% trick <laughs> coming now. No more songs, maybe one more song. And we do image size. And if this is checked, this is kind of the lock constraint proportions, uh, uncheck that. And I do percentage, so if you're not in percent it's something else, go up to percent. And I type width, 98%. That's the video. And then you click OK. And does that little squeeze, just a little bit, little little tiny squeeze. I find that people probably like their images a lot better and they don't really know why that uh, when we're taking selfies and we're photographing ourselves, and check out this blown highlight again, um, when we're photographing ourselves, I feel like we, we have this angle on our face and we think that this is like what we look like all the time. And then when you see an image that's like slightly off of that angle, you're like, oh wow, maybe I, I'm not as, as fit as I thought that I was. Maybe I should go out and skateboard on my Hello Kitty skateboard more often. And so this 98% trick just kind of makes that five, 10 pounds kind of just disappear. Um, it will kind of mess with your aspect ratio, but I would say that 90, uh, probably I'm gonna say 99.9, .9, maybe even more um, of my pr like images that I deliver never get printed. That it's, they're gonna print maybe 10, 20, 30 images from the wedding, or maybe they're gonna do an album, they're gonna do more. Um, but for the most part, most of what I deliver is for a screen. So the aspect ratio, I don't feel really matters that much. And I think at the end of the day, my couples like their images or they, they like themselves and their images better. And maybe they don't know why. And maybe this is one of the, the tricks that I've just revealed for you. So the 98% trick now fully revealed. Took us a minute to get there. I have a tech deck, do you remember these? all kinds of incredible objects on this desk that I've forgotten about. This is a postcard that we actually sent ourselves from Antarctica. The, uh, we, we were in the gift shop and they had postcards and we were like, that's a weird thing to have. And then we realized that whenever you go to the British base, that is one of the stops on the Antarctica tourist tour, uh, Port Lockroy, you can actually, I won't, I won't show the inside jokes, but it's probably too bright, but it, it says right here that it was in fact mailed from British Antarctica colony, Port Lockroy. This is the first episode of What's on Taylor's Desk. This was number two. Tech Deck was number one. Skateboard is under the desk. A uh, sign, a signed photograph of Gimbal God. This is a reference that no one's gonna get, but this is a sign, signed portrait of Spenny, Gimbal God. Here's a photography thing. H and Y filters. They did the Revel Ring. You might have saw this on, on the, maybe the Kickstarter machine. I don't know if they did a Kickstarter for it. And it's cool because it is um, a CPL, so a circular polarizing filter. So as you spin this, it'll darken the sky or darken the, the water and remove reflections and act like a polarizer. And then the other uh, one here is actually variable ND. So you can go from one to, what is this, six stops? I'm not actually sure. The, the last stop is not marked five, and then I would assume it goes to six. Um, so it's kind of a one to six stop. And uh, you can make it darker. 
or lighter. Wow, right? That's kind of cool. What's cooler though, is that this, uh, the Revel Ring section of this, because now all of a sudden, uh, this can actually fit a variety of different lenses. So this one goes from 67 millimeters to 82. So if you have a 67 millimeter lens or a 72 or a 69 or a 73, I don't know if they make those, or a 77 or an 82, uh, this filter will fit it. And what you do is you twist this and then you put it on your lens. This lens won't do because this is a 14 millimeter and the, the hood's fixed. And you put it on your lens and then you let this go and it just clips to whatever lens it is and it's nice and secure. And then you can you can do your CPLings and your 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 VNDings. And also, and also the caps are magnetic. So you can just throw it on if you're feeling adventurous. The back cap though, you have to you have to do a little twisty to get that on. First book I ever wrote, only book I guess that ever actually made it to a physical book. Maybe that's not true. There's there's other books. Uh, I made this in this was printed in 2010, but I'm pretty sure I wrote it in 2008. It's called New School Wedding Photographer. Don't buy it because the information, actually, honestly, it's not that outdated, but um, the social media section might be. Uh, and I made the, the text extra large because I, I think I only wrote about 45 pages of real content. And I was like, it, that feels like a very thin book. So I made the font bigger, um, kind of like a kid's book. And uh, now it's 110 pages and you can feel like you accomplished something, but don't buy that. Maybe I'll do a, a reef refresh of this. Like literally nothing's changed. Upload your, yeah, photo mechanic, batch everything in Photoshop. The the gear that I was using in uh, in whenever this book came out. Nikon D700 is a main camera body. D700 is a backup camera body. A Nikon D90 is a backup backup. So I was, uh, I got into the video, I guess, at that point in my career. The Nikon 70 to 200, f2.8, VR, great lens still. Nikon 135 F2, also a great lens. The Nikon 85 F1.8. I think that would have been the D version. The Nikon 51.4, that lens is garbage, don't buy that. Uh, the, the Nikon 35 F2D, my copy is garbage now. And the Sigma, I was on the Sigma train in 2008, 2009, 2010, whenever this was. Uh, the, the 20 F1.8, which is probably not a, a great lens, but it did, it did the super wide things. And I was using a shoot sack, so that's exciting. Albums. Albums were a bit scary for me when I was first starting out. I, I think it was because I didn't understand how to create them. So if you're afraid of albums, this book will help you. This is, this is my first price list. I printed a price list. This is the image that I chose to put on the, the cover. Here's my price list. Apparently I was doing a credit system at this time. It's exciting. I went really, really big with the, the top package up here, which is $14,000 for my starting price for destination weddings. I certainly didn't ever book any of those. And the problem with this credit system was that I probably watched a video and somebody was like, you need to do credits in your packages and they can just choose whatever they want from, from this menu. And uh, as it turns out, people get pretty overwhelmed whenever you're like, here's a $3,500 credit, pick what you want. High res photos, fine art coffee table book, Duplicate parent books, engagement session. People are just like, just tell us, what, what do people get? This is their first time getting married. We don't want to make these decisions. The image on the front is also uh, very back focused. This is this is the focus point. This is, this is out of focus area, uh, in focus area, reflection, oh, the mirror. This chair behind here is also in, in crisp focus as well. This is a moisturizer that I got from the Park High at Tokyo. It smells like oranges. I steal as many of these as possible when I go to Japan. Uh, I probably come home if we're there for a week and I'm staying at the hotel for seven days. We usually, I, I'll come home with 14 to, to 20 of these um, because it, it's quite expensive <laughs> to buy it actually. And if they keep replenishing it, I, I'm going to take it because it's, uh, it's some great, some great lotion. And that is all for the 98% trick. Also, member site, initial first year rate disappears July 31st of, I guess this month now. So get in on it before the end of the month or it will be gone forever. And if you do get it, you can keep it for as long as you want. Also, it's a 100% money back guarantee. So if you get it and you're like, why do I, why did I pay for these videos? Uh, you won't say that. There's so much content on there, it's really helpful. Um, but if you do find that it's just not for you, let me know, send me an email. I am taylor at taylorjacksonphoto.com and I will send your money back as well. Um, just if, if you're not happy with it. But I, I promise you'll be happy with it. There's so much on there. There's years and years and years of great videos. So uh, enjoy, use the presets, 
use the video a lot to get into video, photo, Instagram released some news today that uh, kind of made me a little bit nervous that they're basically, it seems like they're just changing full up to TikTok, um, which is good probably for the business. They understand that no one really cares that much about the Instagram, the, the system. Um, but I feel like they're already trying to do too many things and it's already a very difficult platform for a new user to understand because it's just kind of everything. I'm surprised they didn't put an audio feature like Clubhouse in there as well. Whereas something like TikTok is a lot more just streamlined and it just, you know what it is. It's it's one thing and it does that one thing very, very well. Whereas Instagram's like, we're gonna do everything. And I feel like that's gonna be kind of the death of them. Unfortunately, um, definitely we are going to be throttled as still photographers. Um, your still images, I don't think are going to be getting nearly as much exposure uh, organically for sure as uh, as they, it should because you take great photos probably. You're passionate enough about photography to watch videos about photography, so you're probably pretty good. But uh, yeah, we'll see it. We'll see how this, this plays out, this Instagram thing. Until then, I'll just be on my Rokinon lens cap for the, the 14 F2.8, doing, doing some, some, some tray flips. That wasn't it.